Hello everybody and welcome back and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get 100% crit chance in Hypixel Skyblock. This is another Hypixel Skyblock guide video on how you can get more damage. If you want a old video on how you can increase your damage, especially if you already have 100% crit chance, that will be linked down below. But if you don't already have 100% crit chance, getting it is really, really important. Crit chance just gives you a chance to deal extra damage to your enemies and the more crit chance you have, the higher chance you'll have to deal more damage. As you see, when I'm using 100% uh, crit chance, every single time I'm hitting something with this aspect at the end, with 100% crit chance, I get a critical hit. Whereas if I didn't have 100% crit chance, that would not be happening. So let's say I take all of my armor off, which will make me no longer have 100% crit chance. As you can see, now it's only 71. Let's say I go to hit something, it can result in not a critical hit. And you see, that did a lot less damage, that did 2,000 damage in comparison to the 11,000 this aspect of the end is doing right now, no armor on and stuff. So yeah, 2,000. So that's a pretty big difference that you probably want to be able to avoid. So let's try to get you to 100%. So the big thing is going to be your combat level. Your combat level gives you crit chance every time you level it up. So for example, for combat level 1, you get 0.5% crit chance. On combat level 2, you'll get another 0.5% crit chance, and that adds up every level. So let's say at 25, you'd have 12.5% crit chance, and that adds to what's called your base crit chance. So your base crit chance you'll find clicking into your profile, and you'll see I have 45.5 base crit chance. You increase that by leveling up your combat skill. And then you'll see I also have something called bonus crit, and that is what you get by equipping items, armor, and accessories. So let's talk about how you can get more crit chance with other items and accessories. So the main thing you're going to want to do is your armor. If you can, and that's if you have the money, I would recommend an ancient reforge on your armor if you want to get more crit chance. You'll see on these boots I've got ancient, and that gives me an extra... 15% crit chance, uh, that totaling a 30% crit chance out of dungeons, and it seems like an extra 22.5 when I'm in dungeons. And you'll see that's the same on this piece of armor as well. Whereas this is Reforged to Loving, which does not have any extra crit chance, but that's fine because I don't need it to have 100% crit chance, I can get that enough with just the boot and leggings. But Ancient also gives you a bunch of other useful stuff for damage, like you'll see it also gives me crit damage, for first of all, as well as strength. So that also adds to my ability to deal more damage, so I highly recommend Ancient as a reforge to get you more crit chance, both, and just to deal more damage. But let's say you don't have the money for Ancient, because if we look at the Ancient reforge, it costs 720,000 coins for the current cheapest one on buy it now. And you know, that is money, and a lot of people don't have that much. Especially if you're watching this video, you might be an earlier game player and you don't have that. But the next best, best thing is just... Uh, I can try to put it on this chest plate, is going to be fierce or pure. So if we go over here, click in, put in our chest plate, and then you can use this if you don't have it. Uh, if you don't, then just click through. Then look until you get fierce or pure, like this is pure. This gives me 8% crit chance. And if I find fierce, it will give me something similar. So you'll see fierce is giving me actually less crit chance, so pure would probably be a better choice. But fierce or pure are the better damage choices for your armor if you can't afford something. But let's say you've gone all through that and you still don't have enough. Well, thankfully there is a way to deal with that. So let's say I take off all of my armor again. Now I'm sitting down at 71% crit chance. And let's say I'm holding my aspect at the end while I do that, which is currently reforged to heroic, it won't change that at all. If I click into my skyblock menu, you'll see still 71% crit. So now my solution to that, go in here, and we're going to reforge this to sharp. Sharp is actually a great reforge if you want to get more crit chance, because it will just give you a bunch of crit chance depending on the rarity of your sword. So let's put sharp on the sword. Boom, there we go. And now you can see that's an extra 28% crit chance altogether. So now when I'm holding the aspect at the end, click into the skyblock menu, I'm at 85% crit. So that does actually make a pretty big difference. Um, because that like I think 14% crit chance or 12%, 14% crit chance, yeah. That makes a difference and is very, very helpful in terms of dealing more damage. Of course, it's still not a hundred, but that will help, considering I'm wearing no armor, that's pretty good. But, let's say you've done that and you still don't have enough. Well, you can actually solve that with talismans. I personally don't love 
reforging to crit chance on talismans because you have to use the unpleasant reforge. The unpleasant reforge is exactly what it sounds like. It's unpleasant. It just gives you and basically nothing else. And honestly, that kind of sucks because reforges are really, really, really good for making you deal more damage. If you check my uh, accessory reforges, they're giving me 110 strength, 292 crit damage. You know, that stuff adds up pretty quickly. And that extra crit damage will boost me in dealing more damage. So I really would recommend you try to get it to as high as possible without using talismans. But if you need talismans to get it up to the last little bit, then, you know, it so once again, go through and reforge just a couple talismans to Unpleasant. Try to do it with as few as possible, but, you know, still do it so that enough that you have it. But if talismans don't give you enough crit chance, then you have to move on to the final solution. Now, your god font will be a good option. Click into the potion effects uh, that I get from the boost cookie and god font together. Then I can see critical potion increases crit chance and crit damage is enabled right now. Uh, and let's say I disabled that right now. I've got 71% crit chance. And if I disabled that, I would probably have a little bit less. If I disable it, go back, go back, 46. That, wow, that makes a huge, huge difference. But, first of all, probably if you have a god pot, you're going to keep that enabled. But that doesn't count in, like, dungeons. So, if you really want to do it in dungeons, or you can't afford a god pot for out of dungeons, you can make a critical now, a critical potion is in your gravel, and the critical potion increases your crit chance and crit damage. At level 4, 25%, level 3, 20%, and you'll see you can brew it by taking a critical 1 potion and putting enchanted glowstone, which honestly it doesn't cost that much. That's 644 coins, and brewing a critical potion, you have 1 flint, 21 coins, plus 1 nether wart, so 3 coins. So honestly, that's like less than 1,000 coins that you're spending on getting your crit chance up. Pretty worth it, especially if you're going to spend that time dealing damage to either level something up or make some money. So I highly recommend you get a chance to percent. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.